Hello and welcome to another episode of The Musical Chef. I'm Vic Hildebrandt and I'll be your musical chef. Today on our show, we are making pizza. That's right, we're making a spicy peanut chicken pizza. I think we're ready to begin. We're going to start with the important part, which is the crust. And this is not a special crust of any sort, but it's uh, just a regular pizza crust. Uh, the recipe is found on the back of these um, yeast packages, so uh, I'm going to use that one. So it calls for two and a half uh, cups of flour, but I'm using three cups because I want to make a big enough crust to fit my pan. So we got, uh, yeah, we got flour, we got some sugar, so we're calling for uh, a teaspoon and a half of sugar. Put that in there. Uh, then we're going to take the, take the yeast, put that into the bowl. Oh, we've got the dry mix here, just mix that around really good. And uh, we also get that. I'm going to add some oil to it, three tablespoons of oil. And this is canola oil that I'm using. Uh, maybe one day I'll use, maybe use olive oil. About three tablespoons. Make that four because that just wasn't quite enough there. So put that in and stir that around. And then what we do is we add some water. So we're going to add, but it calls for about uh, two, two thirds, 2.3 cups of uh, water. Uh, but I think we'll probably add more just to make it that right consistency. It'll be, if it's really, really sticky, then it's hard to work with. So we'll make it um, a little more drier and, uh, and then once we, so we can work it with our hands and uh, go from there. All right, I have mixed it all together. I added a cup of water to it. Um, and I've uh, kneaded it all together and made it into this nice little round thing. So we're gonna put it on a pan, which is about a 13 inch pan. Spread her out a little bit. And I've got uh, uh, my rolling pin, which can help uh, do that. And we'll get it out, spread it nice and evenly. And once it's done, uh, we'll let it, we'll have it sit and let it uh, dough rise a little bit. And then we'll be able to add all the rest of the toppings to it. Well, what we want to do right now is make ourselves the spicy peanut butter sauce. And uh, just a little bit of something to line the crust with. It's, we're not, not having to use a lot of it, but I, I use this peanut butter now. Um, it's uh, unsweetened, unsalt, unsalted, so it's, it's actually pretty good. It's a healthy peanut butter. I, I go through a lot of this now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our take our little our little uh, pan here. We're going to put oh I would say maybe about that much peanut butter in there. Maybe, maybe a little put a little bit back. Well, that's a bit, a bit too much. So what we're going to do is add make to put some sweetness in there. Just a little dab of of honey that mix that in with the so you can see that right there so just mix that right in with the peanut butter stir it around and for our little spicy portion of this uh, we have a Thai ch chili spicy Thai chili I took a bite out of these earlier today and eesh, that burned my mouth so we're going to chop it up into just little tiny pieces here and then be able to, then what we'll be able to do is squish it, squish it, uh, mix it into the uh, peanut butter to give it a little bit of, give it that spiciness to it. So it's, this pizza is going to have some kick to it. Um, we're not going to put too much on. This can be nicely spread out so uh, that it won't be too overpowering and overcoming. Now, let's see. Let's take that and put it right in the peanut butter. There's nothing like a nice taste of uh, peanut on a pizza, if it, you know, if it's, uh, as long as it's not overpowering. I had some a few weeks ago and it was delicious. So, put that in there like that. Then we're going to take a little bit of ginger and we are going to take the little scraper here and we're just going to 
Put some in. Not a lot, just a just a little bit to give it a little extra flavoring there. So yeah, put it get it all in. There we go. So I'll show you what we've done here. You can see there's a little bit of the the ginger right there and the uh, Thai chili uh, pepper and the peanut butter and honey mix. So we're just going to stir that around for a little bit here. Get it all mixed in so that it makes makes for a good little little sauce that we will. Um, you can do this as a drizzle. Uh, I'm not sure what ingredient I should use to make it a, a drizzle, but um, but this will this will be good for what we're doing here tonight. So um, we will once we're ready to put toppings on the pizza. This will be the first thing that goes on. Well, as you can see, the crust is ready. It's been spread out. It's risen. And now we're going to add our toppings. First, we're going to take our little uh, spicy peanut butter uh, spread here. And we're going to spread that out. Ooh, not too heavy. That's, oh, that's a little too heavy there. i to do it very lightly. Otherwise, it gets into the crust. And uh, we don't want it to mess that up. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. It's going to be, it's a little taste of sweetness and a bit of... Uh, with a peanutty flavor and some and some little kick from the uh, Thai chili. So try to get that as evenly as possible. Don't want to wreck the crust in the process. But yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be good. I can taste it now. Um, evenly as possible. Now the other spread, instead of using a um, tomato sauce, which is what normally you use on a pizza. I'm using this. No, that's not what you think it is. It's not 420 Club here. This is spinach and garlic. Raw garlic. Raw spinach and raw garlic, which I have made into a puree. Uh, it is um, uh, absolutely a wonderful ingredient to, to use. I, I use it on my sandwiches now, and it's awesome. I, I love it. I have, I have it all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of that. Um, yeah, use the same, same knife, don't have to worry, it's all going to the same place anyways. <laughs> and we'll spread that out as much as we can, because that's going to be our, our base. And, look at that, that's going to be good. And now I think we are ready to put some other ingredients. We're going to put a first layer of cheese. I've got this Italian style blend, which has, uh, oh, it's got mozzarella, light provolone, parmesan, and asiago. Nice cheese mix there, and it's 25% less fat. So we're going to spread a little bit of that around on, just to get a, the bottom layer of it before we add anything else. We will be adding some more cheese before it's done. So, now, get a little bit more evenly spread around. Yeah, that should do it for now. And I like to use green onions when I'm cooking, because regular onions make me cry. And I don't like things that make me cry. <laughs> so we're just going to take a handful of that, spread that around a little bit. Yeah, that should be good. Nice and round. Give it just a little bit more. And that should be good. Then we are taking some tomatoes. We've got some tomatoes right here. Uh, I've, I've sliced them all up. Just little bits like that. So we just place them around. Make it nice and decorative, you know. You don't want your pizza just to taste good. You want it to look nice too. Part, half, of the, half of the art of cooking is the presentation of it all. So... I think we've got those spread out nice and neat. And now we have some pepper. This is a little, little orange peppers here. So we'll take those, spread that around a little bit. Place it evenly. Yeah. There you go. That's looking, looking really good. 
Now we don't want to put an overabundance of the veggies and stuff on here, but it doesn't hurt to have enough on here. All right, time to add the meat. Uh, I usually take a, a chicken breast and I bake it for about oh, half, up to a half hour. But before I do, I always coat my uh, chicken with sun-dried tomato and herb. And uh, Mrs. Dash is also a good uh, spice to use and uh, really adds some taste to it. It's, and it's salt-free too. So we're gonna take that, put, it, put them on, get them strategically placed. <laughs> put it, uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's gotta love those extra pieces. And a nice little topper on here, poppy seeds. I hear poppy seeds are pretty good for you. Makes, makes for a good little little topper. So we're gonna top that nice and generously. You can see all the little black specks all over the pizza. There we go. Now that we've got that, we shall add the final uh, layering of cheese. One of my favorite parts of a pizza is cheese. Now you don't want to put too much on because uh, too much would uh, wreck it. I did that the first time I ever made a pizza. I just it became a just a sheet, just a big sheet of <laughs> of cheese and some other items. But there you have it. Now look at that. That is ready to go into the oven. So we're gonna put that in. Oh, till it's uh, probably for the next uh, 15 to 20 minutes and so it's nice and golden brown and ready and ready to eat. So while we're doing that, let's have some music. Well, here we are in the other room. I've got my performing hat on and my guitar. But instead of playing you a live song today like I did last time, we're going to feature a video that I did a few years ago. And it's from a song called Let There Be Love, which is found on my Back Home album. And you can find that song and many others at vichillebrandt.com, as well as on all the download sites like iTunes, CD Baby, Amazon, and all the other ones. So, and after that, we will go back to the kitchen. <laughs> Let the be love. 
see This is reality The way it's meant to be Let it begin with me Set my spirit free Let the whole world see Let there be love Let there be love Fill my heart and soul With nothing else but love Let there be love Let there be love Sliced it up. Now we're gonna have a little taste of this little beauty. There we go. Let's have a taste. Mmm. 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 We should have a little wine to go with that. Put a glass of wine. I can. I can taste a little tiny bit of the peanut butter, and I can taste the chili in there. But uh, it's not overpowering all the rest of it. It is. Um, the chicken and the peppers and the tomatoes. It is good. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. <clears throat> Check, it, uh, Check us out at uh, vichildebrandt.com for, uh, for anything to do with um, my music and uh, my food eventually. I will be adding that to my website. But uh, join us again next time on The Musical Chef.